Hey everyone, so for today's video I have got an autumn clothing and homeware haul. I went shopping yesterday and I picked up quite a few bits and bobs, mainly from Primark because I did have quite a big splurge in the homeware section, I'm not gonna lie. If you do enjoy this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've never seen my face before, I'd really really appreciate that. Then you get to see hopefully new videos every single week. I think that's all I have to say, um, I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm gonna be talking a lot in this video, so I recommend grabbing a snack or a drink and just chilling out and I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna start off with the homeware section then get on to the one clothing item that I got from Primark and then the other clothes which I got from other shops. So I got these two candles here. This one is in Spiced Dusk and it's black pepper and orange. I wouldn't really say it's very orangey or spicy but you know it looked nice, it's orange, it reminded me of Halloween and autumn, so that's why I got it. I mean, it is a nice scent, it's just not really what it says it is, but I oh, will. Next candle that I got was this one, and I mainly got it, of course, because of what it looked like. Um, it's copper, which is my favourite sort of colour scheme in my room. I don't know why, but it really reminds me of like a pumpkin, is that just me? And this is in the scent Goji Berry and Ginger. This one's definitely more stronger than this one, like 100%. Um, and it definitely smells more of like what it says it does. This one was £1.50 and this one was £4. So really good price. Love how they look in my room and I cannot wait to light them when it's like really autumnal evening. It's like raining outside and I'm watching movies in my pyjamas and it's just... But that was the candles that I got from Primark. Now I'm going to go on to some... Whoa. Not sure what just happened to my voice then. Um, but yeah, those were the two candles that I got from Primark. Now I'm going to go on to what I got from the Primark home section. And I got two different types of like pillows. And I also got a throw for my room. So I'm now going to show you guys what they look like. The first thing that I got from the Primark home section was this super cute and soft throw. Um, and it was £6. I mean, how good is that price? I decided to go for this like grey sort of throw and I wanted to go for like a different colour theme for my room because right now I've got a lot of colour and it kind of reminds me of summer and I feel like darker colours will just make it more cosier um so pitch this up it's so soft cannot wait to put it on my bed first set of two pillows which I got were these and these were six pounds six pounds for two cushions like that's just incredible um and i just couldn't get over again how soft these are like i really needed to get some new ones because i've had the same ones for like so long now um and it's just been nice to kind of get some new ones it just kind of transforms your room a little bit and makes it look that little bit different and ready for the new autumn season and winter season so love 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 these can't wait to put them on my bed because i think they're gonna look so nice super cozy and the last pillow which i got from primark is this little heart cushion i mean how cute is this i've actually had one of these in pink before but obviously that's more spring summer color so i got this one and i absolutely love the color of this this was three pounds three pounds for a cushion and the clothing item which i got from primark and i literally i cannot explain how excited i am to wear this out um, it is this denim jacket. I'm obsessed with the colour of it. I think I saw a similar design in Topshop and obviously it was quite expensive but this one was £20 which is such a good price for a really good quality jacket like this. Um, and I'm in love with like the really fluffy inside because it would be perfect when you want to look really good but you know you're going to keep really warm at the same time. Um, I just can't like it's just so soft on the inside of the jacket and like I said the colour is just so nice um, I've never really gone for this sort of colour before I do have a denim jacket which I'm going to show you guys in a minute but this is definitely something different and it just adds a bit more colour to me I did get the size a little bit bigger because this is a 12 and I did try a 10 on but the size 10 did fit really nicely but it just felt a little bit like tight fitting and I felt like I couldn't really move my arms that much and the actual arms were quite high up and I felt like if I grow any more then it's just going to get too small and it won't last that long so I got it a little bit bigger just so I had more like room to move um, and it's just so comfy and warm and I'm going to be wearing this so much during autumn and winter it's just such a cute little jacket. To what I got from Urban Outfitters, my absolute favourite shop in the world even though it is quite pricey. I did end up getting two things, one is a clothing item and the other is an accessory item because I just thought it was like super cute and I'm literally in love with it. I think it's just so cool. 
um, it looks like this it's kind of cropped kind of not but what I did is I actually tied it because I'll insert a photo either here or here I'm not really sure which side but there'll be a photo of me wearing it and um, because basically I tied it up and I think this makes it look a little bit more cute and more like cropped looking which is what I liked um, especially if you pair it with like some jeans it'll look really nice um, but it says North League obviously it was kind of pricey for a top but it's definitely going to get a lot of use out of it and I feel like it's going to be one of those tops where I'm just like wearing it so much and people are like hope that's why you wore that top yesterday and I'll be like uh did I? <laughs> Did I? And it's going to go with so many outfits and I feel like this top is going to be in a lot of like Instagram photos. And then the last thing which I got from the shop was, other over here, is these super cute glasses. And I feel like, oh, the reflection of my ring light is like really distracting. I just thought they looked really cute and they went with like the top that I got so I was like, might as well just get both. I don't know, it's just like a nice little cool accessory to go with your outfit all about the style. <laughs> I ended up walking into Topshop and I saw this marble pyjama top and I ended up getting it because you know marble that just screams hope all over um, and I actually needed some new pyjamas I'm not even gonna lie and where it does get quite cold in like autumn and winter I won't be cold at night because this is like almost like a jumper and it's really thick material and it's like super soft. I'm just obsessed with this I mean it's a flipping marble pyjama top. Can anything get any better? I don't think so. And this was £24. I feel like that is quite pricey for a pyjama top, but it's going to get a lot of use out of it. I'm telling you, literally. I'm going to be living in this. I got this denim jacket, and I have been wanting a denim jacket for so long now, um, and obviously I knew they were quite expensive so I saved up my money and I got myself a denim jacket and I've literally been wearing it non-stop you might have seen in like a few of my Instagram posts I have been wearing this a lot um, I got it quite oversized because I wanted it quite big and baggy because that is the sort of look I was going for just like a basic denim jacket it's really really good quality now I'm going to go on to two last things which I actually ordered online and they're from two different clothing companies. This first thing that I actually got quite a long time ago but I never featured it in a haul and where it is coming up to autumn winter I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this so much and I wore it in no I don't think I wore it in a video before maybe I have I'm not actually sure but I was wearing it and um, when I was doing like a snapchat my public snapchat and I got a load of you uh, messaging me saying where is this jumper from and I thought I'd like put it in this haul because a lot of you wanted to know so it looks like this, it's kind of hard to kind of tell but it's got like this really baggy sort of turtleneck design so it's kind of quite big around here but it's really like cosy and warm especially when it's quite cold. This is from Nobody's Child, um, it is an online uh, clothing company and Nobody's Child do a load of different uh, clothes and I love the style overall. I do love myself some jumpers whether they're knitted or jumpers like this. As you can see, I do live in them. The very last item in this whole entire clothing and homeware haul, um, and I ordered this online from a company called I Saw It First. Um, I've only recently come across this clothing company and I fall in love with their clothes. With these checkered trousers, and I've had so many questions saying where are these trousers from because I've worn them in a lot of like outfit pictures on Instagram. Um, and a lot of you want to know where they're from because you seem to really like them. I really like the look of these because they cut off just above your ankle so they're not like full length which I feel like is really cute especially because with these checkered trousers they've got these adorable little frills. So another reason why I'm obsessed with these is because they fit my figure perfectly like it's like they were made for me like literally they just fit me so well super high waisted so they're proper like come up here but I like that especially if you pair of like for example like a crop jumper like this or just like a general crop top that's that the end of my autumn clothing and homeware haul i really really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to see new videos from me every single week i think that's all i have to say i feel like i've rambled on so much in this video and you're probably really sick of my voice so i hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video